Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. If you get diabetes, your chances of getting, well, Alzheimer's or cancer or cardiovascular disease or pretty much having bad luck <laughs> from a health perspective seems like it goes up, right? And, and you've dialed in on diabetes. So pre-diabetes is thought by some to be the precursor to diabetes. And other people think it's a figment of other people's imagination. It's a complex uh, issue. There was a, an article in um, Nature not too long ago that basically argued that prediabetes was really not a problem at all. I believe that it is a problem. Having said that, if you look at the number of prediabetics who go on to diabetes, it looks like it's about 33%. So just having prediabetes doesn't necessarily mean that the end is near. Uh, there are things that you can do to alter that. Um, what we have determined is that prediabetes is a state of insulin resistance with reduced insulin response. Now, the question is, can the pancreas recover? And the answer is absolutely. And this is where people don't, you know, sort of get it yet. Um, the American Diabetes Association says that diabetes is a chronic progressive decline in beta cell functioning leading to insulin deficiency for the degree of resistance. This is complete total hogwash. Yes. And the reason it, we know is that true? is because, yeah. Go ahead. No, sorry, true? there's a lag on the line. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, tell me the reason. I, I'm interested. Well, the reason is because those beta cells that are releasing insulin in the pancreas, they are affected in the same way the liver is affected. And we now know that these patients have non-alcoholic fatty pancreas disease, not just non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Wow. And so if they I didn't can know that. clear the fat from their pancreas, those beta cells can come back full force. And so you can reverse type 2 diabetes and you can certainly reverse prediabetes if you ate right. But if you don't eat what right- What does eating right mean? Well, <laughs> that's, that's the whole reason I wrote the book. Exactly. Um, so I wrote Metabolical to basically explain what is healthy. And based on the empiric data, based on the science, based on the pathologies that I describe in the book that belie chronic disease, I distilled all of the information down to six words. Two precepts, six words. Protect the liver, feed the gut. Any food, there you go. Any food that does both of those is healthy. 